I have studied at a variety of different um, schools and, and studied a variety of techniques in classes as well as sort of reading the books and auditing classes here in Los Angeles as well as uh, back in New Zealand and in Australia. And I did some courses and classes in New York. None of those techniques that I studied were uh, put any emphasis into developing your character and putting the work into character and owning the fact that you get to pretend to be another character. So much of that study is about, you know, drawing on all of this inner pain and it's like, I, I'm, I'm not a painful person, I led a pretty happy life. The challenges that I would kind of face when working in television on, an, on a sort of regular basis were the challenges that you come up against when you're working against the clock, uh, or when you have the sort of pressures of shooting a scene 10 times in a day and you're supposed to be in some kind of deep well of emotion and overwhelming tears or pain or something and the exhaustion and the complete beating myself up with regards to staying in that place or attaining some level of amazing performance when really I'm just kind of swimming around in this pool of upset depression or you know and I'm like my character's supposed to be depressed but now Claire's upset because I'm not really giving the performance that I want to give and so those are sort of the challenges that I guess I'd find and um, that I was facing with my television work and things that I didn't really know I needed to look at things where you kind of think oh, I'm getting away with this <laughs> I'm getting away with this performance and I'm using my I got my little tricks that I use for certain things but that's no fun. That's, that's me being an actor who's been in the business for a long time and knows that I only have to do this much in order to get what's required. And I'm not interested in doing that. I'm interested in performing and experiencing the joy of performing and uh, you know, giving the audience and the director what they need from this character in order to believe this story. Somewhere part way through my study here, my ex I had that experience of completely giving over to being this character and completely being in this moment and letting that world show up and stepping out and it lasting for a couple of minutes and stepping out the other side and sort of looking back at and going wow what was that uh, and that was I think that little key where I went oh this is this is that magic stuff and this is that moment that I'm kind of constantly chasing with what I do that you stumble upon maybe once a day if you're lucky on set or you know maybe once a week maybe only a few times during the course of a part of, of, of performing a role and through drilling and through these exercises and through moving through them I've started to experience that every single time where the goal is always just to give over to, to playing and being that character and that's where the freedom and the fun lies. The main difference between um, what I've learnt at the Acting Centre and how we've been taught at the Acting Centre compared to any sort of other classes that I've done or any other study is that in all of the other classes there's fundamentally a teacher uh, in charge of the class that sits there and facilitates the class and maybe teaches you some technique and some ideas and at the end of the day says that was great um, but you could have done this better or I'll tell you why that's not quite right or um, yeah that was fantastic but I don't really believe you uh, and the acting centre has none of that <laughs> and that is amazing and helpful and again revolutionary <laughs> to not have that in a class but to have people who are feeding ideas and feeding exercises and feeding practices to you in the room um, but to not to know that you're not being judged was at first incredibly strange and uncomfortable and then very quickly I as I got used to it so freeing and uh, powerful and that's literally what's handed the power of me trusting myself trusting my choices and trusting what I'm doing back to me because I kind of don't care what anybody else thinks now genuinely we always like to say that we don't but god we're actors of course we do <laughs> and I, I genuinely now kind of go no no I'm, you know that that voice has got a lot quieter so it was it was a strange thing to get used to at first but I really don't think I could go back to having it any other way now I didn't realize how critical I was of myself before until I'd come here I was amazed when we first started doing the drills um, and you know 
we're sort of taught to, to not criticise one another. I was amazed at how loud the voice was. Not negative criticism, just just questioning, just going, what did you do that for? And when you did that, what happened? And did, like this constant little voice. And it was, a, it was the voice of the sort of what I used to call the watcher whenever I was performing on stage. You know, there's always that person, this sort of higher you that's watching you perform and going, you know, making, it was like making sure you were doing everything right. And I used to think that that person was really necessary, that there needed to be three of you. And how ridiculous is that? <laughs> because I need to be putting every single amount of you know, energy and attention into being the character doing what I'm doing. And Claire getting out of the way. So it, it's been very revealing for me to, to sort of feel how loud that voice was. And it's amazing at how fast that little judge woman has shut up. You know, I've got it, I've got it pretty quiet now. <laughs> yeah. Soon she'll be gone, she'll never come back. What being here and what studying here at the Acting Centre has done is given me this um, expanded toolbox where I now know exactly where I need to start when it comes to when a character turns up, when I get an audition or when I know that I'm doing playing a role in a, in a theatrical production or a show and uh, I know where to start. I know where and how to research and develop this character and I know the work I need to put into that part of it and then I know how to release and unleash um, and let that character kind of come to life. It's also taught me about collaboration with directors and teachers and script work and all of the building blocks to what a, an actor kind of needs to work with and what I've always worked with but now it has this shape and I have a confidence in it because I've experienced um, using this technique and I've experienced what performing is like whilst using this technique and it's like that achieving that in the moment place every single time. One of the things that I'm most grateful to the Acting Centre for is giving me back the power of A, being an artist, and, and B, respecting and treasuring and remembering that I am an artist. Because I've been trained to think that I was a lowly actor who just gets employed by other people to turn up and do this thing. And the Acting Centre has reminded me that it is an art form and that I need to respect the art form and that I also get to command my art form. And I feel like I have much more confidence over my career than I ever had before. Uh, I feel like I don't really care about whether, you know, whether an audition comes or whether I get a job. It's like, well, whatever, I've got some stuff to do and I'm in charge and I'm going to head off and do it.